Are you ready for some more small bites? So um, this morning, we shared with you small bites of the AED conference that we were all at. But there, there, are, well, there were some people who weren't necessarily speaking at that conference, but are in town. So we didn't want to lose chance to talk to some of them. And so we're calling this you know, small uh, brief reports. Um, same format. We're going to ask people to try to keep it within five minutes. Um, if I if I come up on stage and stand next to you, it's probably because I'm the time's almost out. He's he's going to show me a light, um, and then five minutes for questions. Ideally, let's you know just try to keep it right around there uh, so that we can keep our time time going well. And the first person is my friend Shavise Turner uh, from Nita and Beta, and she's going to share with you some information about a very interesting merger of organizations. Thank you, Laura. Hello, everyone, and thank you for having me here. Um, Cindy, I have so many questions, which I'm sure you're shocked. Um, but the, I want to start out just quickly, and is there anyone in the audience who can tell me what the definition of politics is? <laughs> no, seriously. <laughs> Any? <laughs> Well, that is true. <laughs> that is true. Um, I'm a, a, a poli sci geek, and so I'm going to share with you that the definition of politics is who gets what. <laughs> and so we're here at a really, really important time in our community because we are trying to get what we need. We need the work that, that Cindy obviously is doing. We need the work that many of our advocates and scientists and clinicians are doing, and we are not properly funded. And so I want you to think about all the time um, when, you, when you're thinking about your family members and, and what work needs to be done, think about that word and who gets what and what we need to do to get our share of the pie. So that's always my first sort of message. Um, my name is Shavise Turner. I am the, uh, I founded the Binge Eating Disorder back, uh, Association back in 2008. And I, as I think most of you know, the uh, BD made it into the DSM in 2013. And here we are um, some years later and trying to work through this um, very old disorder that's been around forever but is finally recognized. Um, in, in our work with BETA, we, we knew that at some point we were going to get to the point where we really needed to bring the community together, that this is a spectrum of disorders and that Nita was doing their work, BETA was doing uh, our work, FEAST is doing uh, their work. There's a lot of organizations out there doing work, and we really wanted um, to address some of the, the fracture in, in the field. Um, Beta and Nita had very different audiences, very different um, groups that came together around um, the organization um, from Nita, but we felt like it was time. It was time for, for the 70% of people in higher weight bodies um, who aligned with Beta to be a part of the greater community. We're all, many of us, uh, dealing with many of the same issues. And so that's what we did. And um, I'm happy to say that, that I was able to go along um, as part of the merger and, and be a part of NIDA more formally. And we are now going through, we, this happened back in October, um, we are going through um, quite a bit of soul searching and looking at uh, what we have to offer, looking at what is going to be the, the best ways to move forward and what the community needs from us. So expect to see, you know, some changes. Um, I think as an organization, we are very interested in making sure that our work is really about getting what we need for our community. And so um, 
my background is more in the policy and government relations um, area, and so NIDA is building out uh, a department that we are working both on the state and the federal level to um, address some of the issues that you're all familiar with, um, research funding, um, you know, we have a bill right now called the Live Well Act, which takes um, from the USDA, USDA some funding and puts it toward eating disorder. It was a it was a bucket of money that was designated for obesity, and we said, you know, eating disorders need to have a portion of this as well. So these are the types of things we're doing. Expect to see a lot more in the future. Um, and I think, am I just about at the five minute point? Would you take some yeah, I'm happy to take some questions in the back. Um, Hang on, wait for them. <laughs> <laughs> Five minutes goes so fast. Thank you. Um, I was wondering if you can address um, the problem for parents of older um, eat, eating disorder patients who have no ability to control the um, the treatment of their children. And, um, you know, we're looking into trying to get conservatorship, and I understand that's very, very difficult, but at the same time, I've been calling a lot of different treatment facilities, and they won't even take an 18 year old who is not voluntary. Um, so I think that there has to be major work done on the federal level to address um, the uniqueness of this illness beyond most others in that it's not only psychological but physical and that these patients cannot make decisions for themselves, yeah. even though most of them look very competent. Yeah, it, it's such a difficult topic. And, um, you know, I, I, I've experienced this in my own family with a substance use disorder for some someone who was just over that age um, and the difficulty around that so I I can I empathize um, with this and it you know it's something that we probably need to look this is a tough one this is very very um, difficult and it probably is going to require some conversations about a carve out type of policy. Um, but I, I would love to talk further with you. Um, but I, I just want to acknowledge that it, it is a very difficult policy issue that isn't going to probably be solved anytime very soon. Um, and so, yeah, I would love to discuss further. I know that wasn't an answer, really, but it's, yeah. Yeah. So I, I love the idea that you're talking about politics and the, with your background go, merging in with uh, Nita, taking Beta and Nita and merging them together. What I would ask for you, if you're gonna be central or very involved in that, is look to organizations like Feast and bringing parents in at the start of the conversation and don't leave us in a pay to play situation that other large eating disorder groups are doing to keep us out of the conversation. Yeah, no, that's very, um, that's very important. Really needed. And it's, it's, you know, I have, I have a mother who has an eating disorder. I have a sibling who has an eating disorder. Um, and so I, I deal with some unique, you know, my mother's in her 70s and I'm her caretaker. Um, so there are some very important issues. Um, uh, all of the issues are family issues. Right, so I'm a hundred percent there with you, and um, we we need everyone. So yeah, <laughs> definitely. Hi, um, I don't know how to say this professionally, so bear That's with okay. me. That's okay. Can is there or can you guys put out a document for doctors and um, therapists who don't have any training in this, mm -hmm. like? stupid things you say that are bad. Like, like whatever it's called, just like, yes. I, and I say this as somebody, you know, with my daughter has binge eating disorder yeah. and she's been going to her wonderful therapist oh, for God, years I can only imagine. who I love. Yeah. And then when my daughter developed this eating disorder a couple of years ago, the therapist, because this came out of nowhere, mm -hmm. duh, mm -hmm. um, the therapist said, why don't you just have a salad once a day? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or, you know, go for a walk. Yeah. And 
it, take and, a bath. And she's a wonderful human being. Yeah. I mean, I love this woman, but it's like I feel like a white sheet of yeah. stupid well, things to interestingly say with enough, bullet points. Like, yeah, I 100% agree. And my history is BD and atypical anorexia, and so I totally get it. Um, there's stupid things said all the time and every, you know, for everyone. Um, I'm also on the board of the AED, and this is something that we spoke about in um, several, we have an experts by experience committee that, that I, that's my portfolio, and we actually talked about this exact thing uh, yesterday or the day before. And so, um, you know, and we've talked about partnering with both Feast and NIDA to get this information out. So I'm so glad to hear that you would support that um, because it really is very important to, to name those things. Good, okay, right. bring me your, I will put you to work. Last question here. <laughs> on the politics side, mm -hmm. on the issue that we talked about earlier of older people with yeah. a long-term eating disorder, mm -hmm. I was thinking those of, there are several of us who are guardians Mm -hmm. And we have learned in our states, for example, state law prohibits their placement in private institutions. In other words, the private yeah. institution can say, too bad, yeah. you're not, we're not going to take you anyway. Yeah. So the only resource is a public in, uh, institution. So right. my, my question is, or it's a suggestion, mm -hmm. I wonder if this issue is something that you could also partner with NAMI, mm -hmm. because they're working on HIPAA. Yeah, that's great. And yeah. HIPAA is really important, this whole issue. And yeah. there are avenues of getting around HIPAA, yeah. but we need to make them more obvious. Yeah, I've already had conversations with NAMI since we've expanded this footprint. And so, but we did not talk about that particular issue. So thank you for letting me know, because this is something that, uh, what is go what was going on Going through my head as as you know when the first question came was that this is going to have to be a coalition effort that you know Nita or any any of us going in alone is never going to work so so it's really good and I was thinking oh God who should I you know so the knowing that is already being discussed is really really helpful so thank you and I, I think you and I would probably agree that We've the eating disorder world in general, the advocacy world, is moving away from a competitive uh, turf thing. Yes, and we it's all about collaboration, collaboration and seeing finding ways that we can help each other do a thing and do it together. Right, right? and that was part of the impetus for this um, this merger as well. Claire and I really <laughs> wanted to say to the community, we can work together, and we must model that. <laughs> So and I, I think you're seeing that here today. Yeah. It's part of that. We, it, it's a wonderful thing. I think yeah. that we're moving forward finally. I think we are. I think we are. We are. Thank you, everyone.